Well, the first segment of an impressive 30 mile corridor that will connect trails statewide will soon begin construction. Although the project is still in its early stages, the DNR is hopeful for the future. Our Logan Gay has more. Since being authorized in 2009, an impressive statewide trail that would connect several others is underway. When complete, the trail will be the longest connected trail in the country. Eventually, when it's completed, it will be a statewide, um, provide some statewide connections to some local and regional and state um, uh, destinations. The project will be completed in six segments. The first segment of the project will connect the Sioux Line Trail and the Paul Bunyan Trail. The Camp Ripley Veterans State Trail is a new trail that's being proposed or worked on and that extends from the Sioux Line and eventually will run up towards um, Crowing State Park and Charles Lindbergh State Park and connect to the Paul Bunyan State Trail. Using funding the project received in 2014, the DNR is hoping to begin the project in 2017. There was a bonding bill that provided $1.7 million towards the planning and construction of the trail. And another special aspect about the corridor is that it will support both bicycles and all-terrain vehicles. In this section that we're working on right now, which is from the Sioux Line Trail to the city of Little Falls, we are working on separate corridors where one would be a motorized trail and one would be non-motorized. When the trail is complete, cities in close proximity are expecting an economic benefit. In Sock Rapids, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. To avoid purchasing land, the DNR is trying to place the trails on state-owned property and county roads. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.